guys, welcome to week two of BBR. Uh, I am Mounte. Today we're taking on T Row Price. Um, T Row recently won the BBR D League Championship, and um, he's he's moved up to the big leagues. But honestly, he's always been one of the be better players in the scene, in my opinion. So uh, he's in his rightful place now. Um, Team T Row and I played each other once before in the APA about a year ago. It was a very close game. Very hot game, uh, one of my favorite games. Um, I narrowly defeated him, and uh, I'm sure he's out for a little revenge. His team this time around is, uh, yeah, pretty pretty bad for me, pretty scary. He has Terra Aspothra, which honestly, if he plays it right, can just defeat my whole team. I've been, uh, I haven't had a lot of time for prep. I've had a pretty busy week, but the time I have spent, I've been agonizing over how to beat Spothra, and I, I'm not really sure how to do it, to be honest, like consistently. Like, I can get lucky, um, I can like put the odds in my favor, but there's no way to really uh, like guaranteed beat this mod. So yeah, we'll see what happens. There's a good chance that it'll come down to like, like if he has his last mod as a Spothra, for example, and I have like five guys left, he could definitely still win. That's the kind of scenario that that we're looking at here. So we'll see what happens. Um, so let's get into my team here. Uh, number one, we have Pit Pocket Air Balloon Glamour Hammer. I'm gonna lead with this mod. Uh, it's a pretty decent lead against Garchomp, as I am immune to its dual stab. Um, but I do expect him to lead Meowskarada. Uh, Meowskarada is the only thing that with a scarf can outspeed Regilecki, and the fact that I have Zoroark on my team, it makes it a very safe lead for him because he can U-turn and scout to, uh, he can outspeed a scarf Zoroark for example, and then scout if I am a Zoroark or whatever the hell I am, right? So. I expect Scarf Meowskrata as the lead, and Scarf Meowskrata is very threatening to Regilecki because I have to switch out every time it comes in. Um, so if I can take the Scarf by, you know, maybe losing my air balloon and use Pit Pocket ability, um, then that really helps Regilecki as a potential win con in the end game. Um, now that does mean I'm giving my Tinkaton a Scarf, which is not good, but I think the pros outweigh the cons in this scenario. So, yeah. Play rough. Um, I have enough attack to uh, two hit KO a like very defensive Terra fighting Aspothra. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned. His Aspothra could be Terra fighting or fire. Um, I think he'll be fighting to try and deal with Umbreon, and if he's fire, it would be only for Tinkaton, but then Urshifu can just revenge with Aqua Jet, so that doesn't make too much sense. I think, yeah, uh, Terra fighting makes a lot of sense for him. So that does make Tinkaton a pretty good check to Espothra, um, if he is Terra fighting. I just have to get in there and play rough him a bunch. I'm also super spadef on Tinkaton. Uh, to try and eat the hits, and then I just have some speed for guys creeping Braviary, basically. Next mon is Zorark, the Regilecki. Uh, Terra Ice, of course, because he has Garchomp. Um, yeah, just speed for plus one Espothra, and uh, the rest in special attack and uh, HP. Very, very standard. It's also my spinner, heavy duty boots. Uh, spin might be very important in this game, so this, I don't know. Regilecki is going to be like utility, but with the potential to win the game in the end, depending how things go. Um, we have uh, Surprise Lamau, the Zorak. Uh, Air Balloon, I'm going to disguise this as Regilecki and come in on a Garchomp. And so I'll either threaten the Garchomp out, the threat of a Terra Ice Terra Blast, uh, I'm gonna go for Will-O-Wisp once I come in on Garchomp, right? That's the idea. <clears throat> and if he switches out to his Regilecki check, which might be Muck, I burn that. If he goes into 
Klefki, then I can get a nice Hex on that, or Flamethrower. Get big damage on that. Um, Klefki I really want to take out, because as soon as I Terra Ice, I'm vulnerable to a Prankster T-Wave on Regilecki, so that's, yeah. I really want to take out Klefki as soon as, as, soon as possible. Um, and this Mon should help aid with that. Uh, Umbreon, I brought. This set is kind of weird, but it's like super spadef. Uh, Combine, Sword Power, Moonlight, and then Foul Play. Foul Play just to break an Unterred um, guy's sub, Espathra, and just help with like Garchomp and stuff. Um, more than Dark Pulse would. But yeah, Combine, Sword Power. If, if he's Terra Fighting, I could boost up alongside him, take like 30% from Terra Blast, and then by the time we're both strong enough to do anything, like. Store power is gonna fuck him up. This is my best shot, I think, between like thunder waving him and I don't know. There's so many things that can go wrong with this strategy. If I could crit, if he's like, uh, I mean, Terra, Terra fire is actually best case scenario because then I can aqua jet. But um, yeah, Terra fighting with like a bunch of like fizz death. And if he gets a few commines up before I can switch in, kind of thing, and maybe gets a crit, I don't know. It, it can go really poorly, uh, is all I'll say. But we'll see. Um, I'm doing my best. I've got a lot of priority on this team. As you can see, I have Aqua Jet here. Oh, wow, my cat is being a jerk. Um, uh, Urshifu is very hard for him to switch into. I'm Punching Glove. Uh, I considered Band, I considered Scarf. I consider it SD, but I think if I just try and get this guy in and use Surging Strikes a bunch of times, it's probably my best way to use it. Um, his best switch in is like maybe Quaquaval or Mesprit. I don't know. Something with like Helmet, but Punching Glove, you know, removes that from the equation. And then lastly, I have Arcanine who switches into a few guys um, Quaquaval. Uh, Klefki can kind of take on Muck. The yeah, the attack two kills max HP Muck, um, and then the uh, HP lets me live an adamant chomp earthquake if I intimidate, or I can take a um, not intimidated Aqua Step from Guacoval uh, if I max if I haven't taken any damage basically, and then E Speed should help maybe against. This Bothra? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I might get uh, crushed by a Spothra. Maybe not, so we'll see what happens. See you, see you soon. Okay, here we go. Gonna search for T Row here. I gotta get I gotta get in the game here. EA Sports. Got to get in this game. I have to believe that I can defeat Espathra, you know? Okay, so we brought Rotom instead of Quackwell. Uh, makes sense. Rotom's a pretty good Regilecki check. I should have brought Ancient Power, I guess, on Regilecki. Uh, but I did not. But um, that's okay, I think. Okay, G L H F. Uh, oh, my cat is in front of the TV. Bev, I need you to move. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm leading with Tinkaton because, as I mentioned in the team builder, I am a Hair Balloon Pit Pocket so that if Scarf Me Escarada U turns on me, I still at Scarf and then Regilecki is no longer at sped by anything um, other than, I guess, a spot here after it gets two boosts. Uh, and we're gonna disguise Zorark as Regilecki. And I think we're off to the races. Good luck of Antiro. GLHF. Um, T-Row is 
very good at battling. If you guys haven't checked him out, please do. Um, lovely guy. He leads with Muck, okay. That's actually a pretty good lead for me. I think I can just get my... Um, rocks up. So my plan of uh, stealing a scarf is maybe not working. Gonna work. Actually, this would be terrible if he is Black Sludge and hits me. Because then I steal his Black Sludge. Oh man, that would be bad. But I actually don't really have a switch in. So, we're going for fucking rocks. Okay, let's see what happens. I get my rocks, he goes for fire punch. Breaks my shit, I'm gonna steal his item. Please don't be Black Sludge. Sugarberry, stolen. Okay. That helps with... Literally nobody on my team. <laughs> Shit! Who did I have that... Uh, who... What was the sugar for? Oh, for Doug Trio, of course. Duh. Duh, good trio. Um... So... Yeah, I, I guess shook is kind of nice to have on Take a Ton. Um... It literally doesn't matter, really, at all. Actually, Shook is kind of nice. I can sort of check Garchomp maybe now. So he might go for Knock. I don't want that. Ah, man, it's a tough spot already. What is he doing? What are you doing? I need this Monsorda to maybe help out with uh, Espothra so I don't auto lose to Espothra. You guys ever felt like that? So he's probably going to knock off here. Um, hopefully I don't get poisoned. I can Will-O-Wisp him. Fire Punch is cool. I could still get poisoned. Nice. Okay. I might just Flare Blitz in case Rotom comes in. Uh, I think that's... I mean, I should 2 KO. I EV to 2 hit KO and Muck. Okay. So at least if Rotom comes in... Dark Riot. Damn it! I should have went for Will Wisp. I didn't think he'd go straight to Chomp. Whatever. Okay. Oh! Wow. Wow. That's actually super fortunate. Because now. So my whole plan was to go into. Oh, his helmet. Good to know. Good, good, good to know. Uh, my whole plan was to go into. Air Balloon, Zorark, burn him, then use Hex. But now I can just go straight for Hex. Uh, however, the burn was actually important because it covers him switching into... Um, it covers him switching into Muck or... Klepki, who are probably his, like, uh, Regilecki switch-ins. I don't really know. I guess I'll go for Hex. I guess Hex is fine. I don't know. He could save this, but he got his rocks, he's burned. He might just let it go down. Because what if I was crazy enough to Volt Switch, right? I don't know. So, he got his rocks, maybe I, maybe I want to spin, and then you can stay in and hit me hard, right? Maybe? Maybe you want to break my uh, air balloon? No, he doesn't, he doesn't want that. He prefers not to. He goes into this guy who, yeah, you know, if Chomp, uh, damn, if Chomp wasn't burned, I would have went for the willow there. Woe is me, right? I got the burn on Chomp. That's so bad for me. Um, okay. He has no item. Uh, I want to keep the air balloon. He could. He's almost certainly going for knock. I think I'll go Arcanine. I want to keep the air balloon. Um, and then 
then, uh, yeah, he might poison me, but I could probably recover off whatever he is doing to me. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Back to Chomp, maybe? But I can live... I can live some Chomp shit. Uh, not having boots sucks, though. Like, I can live this, I'm pretty sure. Garchomp, burned. Let's make sure that you are burned in our calculations. Arcanine. Yeah, he's doing less than half. Um, I don't know. I feel like Earthquake is not something you'd go for. Hmm. Not sure, to be honest. But I do want to keep our canine for... It's good for a couple months. Miascarada and Klepki. Right? So... Shit. Let's go back to Zorak, I guess. I don't know if this is the move, but we're going to do it. We might just go for Dragon Claw or something. Expecting this. That's fine. Crit. Surprise. Well, now it's me. Here's where I wish I had a uh, better move uh, than what I've got. Hmm. He could still go for Earthquake here. There's nothing really stopping him. Damn it. Hey, we're chipping him down. We're chipping him down. Fuck. <laughs> this is annoying. I might just go for Willow here. Maybe he'll go for Poison Jab. I didn't think this through too hard, but I think this is a fine play. Certainly die still, even if... Well, I have no item anymore. Yeah, okay. Hey, maybe I'll live? Like, uh... Yeah, big big living. Okay. That's good. Probably goes for a knock here, right? I might as well keep Zorak as a way to revenge Chomp. Um, although, as I was saying, I do really need our canine. And getting it poisoned would be bad. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good move. He got me there. Well, well do. Overdue. Overdue. Um, real war of attrition here, boys. I can go for the uh, Morning Sun. Chomp, if it comes in, takes rocks plus burn. Uh, and then I can maybe just potentially sack Zorak, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, Arcanine's pretty limited right now, but E Speed is important for Espothra and like Flare Blitz. It's really nice to have against Klefki still. So, yeah. We'll see. His, uh, I guess his dedicated, uh, 
Reggie Lucky check is probably Rotom, which makes sense. I can't really touch it. I, if I had Ancient Power, I could have, but I don't have it. Okay, how low are you? Oh, I should turn my health bar. Health bar, go! Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? No! Come on. There we go. Sorry about all that, guys. Oh, I didn't set up the health bar for this fucking BBR shit. Never mind. Just, uh, just wasting my time here. Okay, so, uh, Garchomp, does he die to E speed? That's kind of what I'm interested in right now. Should do 20 to 25. Um, I think it's like worth trying. Oh, not even close. Huh. Might have been a mistake. Might have been an error. <laughs> okay. Okay, we lost our canine. That's not good. Guys, it's not going well. However, I can actually kill him with uh, Rapid Spin here. He got, he's got no Ghost type. So, I'll get the rocks out of here at least. Big Lecky, doing what he does best. Taking fucking 16 plus 12% to clear hazards. No problem. Uh, actually, quite a bit no problem, in a way. In a certain way, it's actually quite a bit no problem. Oh, Mount Hay, the Rotom Heat. How dare you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ain't got shit for this. Hopefully he doesn't go for a uh, trick. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm probably going to go... Okay, so here's the thing. If I go into... Umbreon and he tricks me... That's probably the end of the game. Because I need, I need Umbreon for a spot throw. Hmm. Do I need Zorark anymore? Not really, I guess. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, the trick. I would, I would honestly lose the game if he goes for trick here. Okay. I didn't want to do that, but. Such as life. Oh wait, he's boots. Oh, he's obviously boots. I forgot I got rocks up. Okay, so that was a dumb move. No problem, now I know. Yeah, so I think he's like max HP Rotom, probably with some speed, I assume. Um, Urshifu should still have speed though. I need to take out Klefki. If I can take out Klefki, uh, Regilegi can win. So, that's basically what it's gonna be at this point. But my Klefki killers are Urshifu and that's kinda it. So, I haven't played this very well. Hopefully it goes into Klefki here. Okay. Um, I think a Volt into Surging Strikes would probably kill. Uh, let's see. Volt does 43 if he's just max HP. And then if he's max defense, yeah, Surging Strikes would kill. 
So I'm gonna do that. Volt into, because he's not gonna go for T-Wave here. He might go for it next turn, but whatever. I'll Volt right now. Uh, if he goes Rotom, again, we know he's Boots. So, we're basically going for the Regilecki endgame, I guess, at this point. Uh, I need Urshifu to come in and break some shit. Mostly break this guy. He'll probably sack Chomp, though. Oh, he might just go straight into Chomp here. Chomp's alive, right? He is, yeah. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, that's smart. And then uh, he kind of baits the Terra, and then he can T-Wave me. Oh, never mind. Okay, this is good. I do have uh, rocks up, right? Did I get rocks up? I'm pretty sure I did. Turn one? I did. Against Mach, yeah, I did. Okay. Let's just confirm. <laughs> just gotta make sure he's boots. Yeah, okay, he's boots for sure. So, I should add speed. He doesn't really have a switch. I mean, you can go Garchomp and just die, I guess. That's fine. Now he goes Mios Garada after this. Oh, this is great. This is the guy I need dead. Hold up a minute. The, th the reason I need this guy dead is he can... Um, he can Thunder Wave Regilecki if I Terra. Oh, nice. Okay, that's smart. Then I... Mm, well, I can still do it. It's good to know he's not, like, light play screens or anything. And I can still jet, even if he paralyzes me. So I'm just gonna go for it. Like, Dazzling Gleam won't do that much. Eh, yeah. It does, like, half-ish. Unless he's invested. But he looks to be, like, max defense. So, Surging Strikes into jet will kill him. There, there is a chance here, a good chance. Uh, that Regilecki can do this. I need Rotom, I guess, a little weaker. Um, Tinkaton should at speed Rotom. He goes for spikes, okay. Okay, that's actually good. Because now I'll outspeed his Thunder Wave and I can finish him with Jet, for sure. That's actually really good. Um, wait, who went down? Garchomp or Muck? Out of it. Game's light, you know, I'm tired, guys. That's the only reason. Okay, we got Klefki, baby. I need to double check who's alive still. Jesse comes out. Yeah, that's obvious. I've EV'd to live anything but like banded uh, Mascarada here. So, quite literally, honest. <laughs> I'm thinking about just staying in. Because he could U-turn. Who would he go into? Okay, so Garchomp's dead. It's Muck that's alive. Got it, got it. Um... I think I would just go for a close combat. You'd probably just sack Muck, right? So then I think U-turn's better. I'll U-turn. 
I should live this unless he's banded. If not, you know, I've done my job. Okay, fuck yeah. I don't know if this kills, probably not. But that's okay, we got the Lecky coming in. Big Lecky coming in. And actually, Rapid Spin might KO. Yet again. His lefties. Okay. He's at like 20 ish. I think it turns orange at 20%. Um, so Rapid Spin does not KO. Chomp is down. Thunderbolt. He could have Sucker Punch. Fuck. I'm so worried about a spa throw. Sucker Punch should not kill, right? No, he's, he lost his stab. Wait, was he Overgrow? Or Protean? I actually missed that. Sucker. Sucker does not kill, even if it's stab. So it should be good. Okay. Rotom will come in. Take probably his last uh, bolt switch before he dies to the next one. I basically need to just position myself at this point to not let a Spothra come in and set up for free. Oh, oh, wait, this guy's healthier than I thought, actually. Um. It might be the time to sack Tinkaton. Because I can go back to Urshifu here and just fuck something up. So I'm going to do that, I think. I mean, he could Volt on me if he wants. Do I live Overheat? Probably not. No. Two. No, I don't live Overheat. So, I'm just going to do a Volt here. So he's probably in Urshifu range now for... Uh... Oh, Jet. But yeah, no, he's not Scarf, so it doesn't matter. Um, we're going Glamour Hammer. If he Volts... Then that's actually okay. Oh, unless I die. Then maybe not good. Okay. So, like, Muck would die. Um, Espothra. I could Thunder Wave. So that's actually great. Is that all he's left? I've killed Chomp. And Meow. And Klefki. Oglebina. Okay. I've got the Thunder Wave. Let's see what happens. Is he going to go for sub? That would be crazy. Maybe. He could just maybe kill me right off the bat. But if he is a store power set, he I guess he would have to Terra Blast to do it. Um, he might just go for like Calm Mind. There's a lot that could happen here. In fact, yeah, I don't know. This could be bad. The fact that Espothra exists is bad for me. Um. Yeah, maybe he'll burn his Terra right here. Even if he's Terra uh, fighting, Umbreon can take him on. Because I am stored power Umbreon, <laughs> baby. Uh, okay, he's going for it. He might be Terra Fire. And if that's the case... Actually, if that's the case, Umbreon looks really good. He is Terra Fire. Okay, I didn't see that coming. But that's really good because uh, now Urshifu, Jet, um, I, I really didn't see that coming. I mean, I did. I prepped for it, but I thought uh, I thought fighting was the play. Um, okay, I gotta do a little. So if he's like super defensive, I need him down to about. 
a third of his health. Uh, and if he has protect, I could go lucky here just to volt to get some damage. But if, if he has protect, then that's a that's a shitty play for me. But I'm just worried that he goes right into muck. Fuck. I'm actually not sure. Like if I go Umbreon and then he goes straight to Muck, then I'm then I'm in trouble. Although, he'll then take rocks next time. And take 25. So that's not the worst case scenario. I do nothing to Muck is the thing. I might have to win this without Umbreon. I think that's I think that's doable. I think that's doable. I'll come mind. Yeah. Okay. He'll take a lot of chip next time. Uh, this fucking muck. I could probably chip this thing down. He's pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I could do this. Um. Okay. I uh, wait. Does foul play? I should know this. Does foul play weaken if they're burned? I actually don't even remember. I'm gonna do nothing. But I could stall him out. Is the thing. And then his last guy is actually. I I fucking win this. Umbreon should win this game. Cause uh, his last two guys just get owned by Combine Umbreon. And this guy's not gonna live unless he's rest. Burn. Yeah, Combine Umbreon should win this game. Even if he poisons me, it's no big deal, I'm pretty sure. I'll come in again, and then I'll attack next time. Or recover, we'll see. That's okay. What happened? Oh, synchronized, yeah. That doesn't matter. There's no way his last few guys... So what am I in here? I'm plus three, plus three? How strong does that make, make stored power? Makes it strong as fuck. Um... He's gonna live the next one. I'm gonna come in once more, and then I'll recover. Just to be, <laughs> just to really stall him out. Sorry, Dark Rat or uh, T Row. All these Dark Rat names are yeah. misleading me here. Dark Rat is a mutual friend of ours who um, decided to honorably stay neutral in this matchup. Uh, he normally helps both of us prep, but of course, against each other, um, he doesn't want to play favorites. Which is very respectable, you know? Okay. Okay! I mean, Umbreon should do this! Plus four, plus four? There's no fucking way I lose, right? Sword power should crush... Uh... Yeah, it crushes both of them. Wow, I did not think I was gonna win this game. I mean, it's not over. Let's be, let's get one thing straight. Mounte comes in. It's a good name. Discharge. Can't be parried, as I'm already poisoned. This win goes out to John Jr., who uh, in the coach chat said, Oh, I wish you had Umbreon versus me. That mon's garbage. Let me tell you something, John Jr. This mon is a championship caliber mon. And uh, this win also goes out to OG Albina, who also... Oh, 
<laughs> is coming in right now. Uh, just in time to hate on Umbreon. Umbreon's a terrible mon, he says. It's really, it's really bad, he says often. Uh, no. Now that it has Calm Mind... Fucking good mon. It did lose a lot, it lost Heal Bell and Toxic. But it gained Thunder Wave and Stored Power. And, uh... Yeah. So that's that. I'm happy to have Umbreon on the team. Welcome to the team, Umbreon. You're getting the thumbnail. Um, there's still a chance I get Terra Blast crit, but I don't think that I would, would even kill. Okay. I don't think that he'll live this. I'm plus four, plus four. But we'll see. Yeah, okay. Yes! Fuck yeah. I'm stoked. Textbook Mounte. But yeah, that's that. Fucking Umbreon. Pulled it through. I love that. I'm actually really stoked about that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Next week is I play Vepsis. Um, if you don't know Vepsis, he's like the best player in draft league, pretty much. <laughs> so, got my work cut out for me. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.